Hello friends and once again welcome to bisbsolution.com. My name is Amit and today I'm going to show you an interesting and simple example of currency conversion in FCCS. In today's example I would be showing you how reporting currency works and in subsequent example I show you how parent currency work and complete CTA calculation. Although everything is given in Oracle documentation, however the documentation are a bit difficult to understand and reading through concept and uh, seeing how numbers are actually aggregating is far different. So I'll show you everything with numbers. Therefore, you understand how currency conversion take place step by step. Okay. So today I'm going to use a vision application and I've created one case study in order to demonstrate how currency conversion take place. So let's get started. I enable my vision application as a multi currency. And as a result of this, you can see a currency dimension enabled. So the currency dimension by default, when you enable it, you can add multiple currencies under input currency. And there's a property called reporting currency for underlying currency. When you take the properties under currency as a reporting currency, the given currency is considered as a base currency as well as a reporting currency. And the member automatically added under reporting currency parent. USD underscore reporting. You see the moment I made my currency as a reporting currency, the member got added over here USD underscore reporting. So data input is done to the entity currency and the currency conversion take place and data gets copied or converted to underlying reporting currency. So this is my currency dimension. In this example, I would be using a flow account, one revenue account or under FCCA sales on sample account for revenue domestic the behavior of the revenue domestic this account I will be using the behavior of this is a flow type so you see the time balance property is tagged as flow and there is no currency exchange rate is defined but currency conversion will still take place if you're coming typically from planning application you know that uh, we need to define a currency exchange rate for underlying account in order to perform currency conversion. However, you see there's no currency exchange rate is defined over here. And uh, account type property set is revenue and time balance properties flow. I also show you the entity structure before we perform consolidation. The entity structure is I have got under North America there is one parent entity. There are four children under North America and out of these four children, three children are in USD. So their base currency USD, but the fourth child, fourth child has a base currency as Canadian dollar, right? The base currency is Canadian dollar. So I would be showing you how currency conversion will take place from USD to Canadian dollar and Canadian dollar to USD both way. Okay, so let's get started. In order to simulate this example, I created an Excel grid data form. Okay. This is my data form where I would be inputting number into entity input and the currency conversion will take place to two reporting currency USD and Canadian dollar because I have chosen over here account as a revenue account and therefore movement dimension would be changes in net income and data input is always done in entity input with the combination of entity currency and as consolidation take place data gets aggregate consolidated the parent currency and Anti total. So I would be using anti total over here. In next example, we'll see how parent currency works. So this is my intersection, fairly straightforward, all intersections. And uh, let's get started. So I input numbers over here, randomly some numbers I input. I input number into anti input. Data input is not allowed to USD reporting, Canadian reporting. Data input is allowed only in anti input. So I input number to entity and you see the number gets copied immediately upon submit data to entity total, but the data is not aggregated yet. Therefore, you don't see numbers in uh, North American total total company before consolidation. Let's take a snapshot. So this is pre consolidated numbers, right? In this example, I've taken a currency exchange rates. So there's a data grid available when you enable application called currency exchange rate or uh, data form in this example i've used a currency exchange rate from usd to usd is one 
both kind of account flow accounts takes an average rate and balance account takes an ending rate so usd versus usd is one canadian one but usd versus canadian dollar is 1.2 and 1.3 respectively for uh, average ending exchange rate and ending exchange rate average and ending exchange rate right so now let's see how it works so i would be inputting number into usd all these are into usd except the last one which is into canadian dollar so this is usd this is canadian dollar isn't it now when you aggregate number will be available to the parent currency but it would be difficult to understand why you get the the number gets populated over here uh, you would like to know the reason behind the total numbers for example right now it should be 2200 but you see the numbers are different because data input is done in different currencies so you should invoke a consolidation consolidation can be invoked from different places uh, you can run from data status or different places i would be running consolidation from application rules before running consolidation you can also open another grid called data status when you open data status for the given intersection you can see the data got impacted the impacted entails over here the number got modified and require you to it requires to rerun consolidation okay so once consolidation will run you see it turn out to be okay okay for this given intersection right so let's run consolidation first i would invoke consolidation from application rule and the intersection is supposed to be same january fi15 actual so let's check this is uh actual f515 january right intersection just hit the launch button and this will invoke consolidation consolidation takes little time so have patience and as consolidation go on you can refresh your grid over here and see the numbers gets populated over here but the one thing which i was talking about uh post consolidation right you were expecting it should be 2200 had it been all usd the sum of all these numbers are 2200 however you see the numbers are 2300 why because the currency conversion took place but what number causes this 2300 rather than 2200 this number canadian dollar right uh, because our currency exchange rate is 1.2 let's copy this rate and put it over there in order to justify how actual application is working oh my excel got crash no problem so i put my current section rate over here so i put in canadian dollar when you convert into usd it multiply by 1.2 so canadian dollar to usd is 1.2 right so right now it is 500 multiply by 1.2 it should be 600 so once i run currency conversion and look at the numbers into usd i should get a 600 over here okay let's see so consolidation done successfully right now let's run the currency conversion i run currency conversion twice one for usd and one for canadian dollar <laughs> make sure your intersections are correct i run launch button and the currency conversion will take place in usd so let's refresh and see wow you got a number in usd reporting isn't it this is what we were expecting and now put the number over here and see all these first three children have a same currency usd versus usd therefore number simply gets copied all these are usd versus usd usd versus usd is currency exchange rate is one However, here, this is a Canadian dollar to USD and the currency exchange rate is 1.2. So 500 multiplied by 1.2, it's 600. You see, isn't it? This is 600. And that you can double check because our currency exchange rate is 1.2, 1.2. So this is 600. So now the sum is 2300, which justifies now let's do this once again for canadian dollar right right now your numbers are getting populated for only usd probably you like to see the numbers total taxable amount or total revenue into canadian dollar 
right at North America level. So the same you can do it. It's fairly simple. You rerun the consolidation currency conversion for current for Canadian dollar. And let's this currency can go on, right? It is getting populated. It is still going on. Let's wait for a few seconds. And you see the numbers at the parent level in few seconds. Okay, so right now you see at least numbers, right? Numbers are available. The currency conversion is done. Okay. We should continue to refresh and wait for a few seconds. What you see over here, what you see over here now, okay, I don't have a space. Let me expand it and put it over here. Now you see these numbers, because the first three numbers, the currency conversion took place. How? There is, so we have given a currency exchange rate Canadian dollar to USD, right? 1.2, isn't it? But other way around, system automatically calculate USD to Canadian dollar. CAD, implicit, one divided by 1.2. Yeah, so this is going to be 8.33 something. You can do it one divided by 1.2, 8.0.833, okay? So this becomes this become, 0.833 now you see this this conversion why it is 1000 become 833 because 1000 multiplied by currency exchange rate which is 0 0.833 0 0.833 right so first three numbers are getting converted from usd to canadian dollar and the last one is not getting converted so therefore canadian dollar versus canadian dollar is one Right, so 500 multiplied by 1 is 500 only. So this is the reason you need to justify why did you get this number. Uh, one of the most difficult tasks in financial consolidation while you're working as a consultant. You need to justify with the business users the numbers you're getting is correct or not. Right. So by knowing deep step-by-step -step analysis and you should know how number gets populated, to the parent member, you can justify the numbers are getting calculated correctly by the system. So this is total amount. Probably you can see this is total taxable amount in Canadian dollar, the total taxable amount in USD. This is how currency conversion works for reporting currency. That's it for today. In a next example, I would show you how parent currency works. Should you have any question, please feel free to write to us, bisbsolutions.com. Thank you.